Driven by a desire to escape from the baggage of previous years, Stark resigned from the board of Stark Unlimited to embark on a journey of self-discovery. Moving away from his high-tech lifestyle and also breaking up with the Wasp, Tony settled in a brownstone in Manhattan and began donning a retro-inspired Iron Man armor to take a hands-on approach in doing good in the world. He was quickly joined by his former Avengers acquaintance Hellcat, who helped Tony take the right steps in his new approach to life and became his crime-fighting partner. During this time, the symbiote god Null invaded the Earth. Stark obtained a powerful symbiote by mutating a symbiote dragon with Extremis and merging it with his armor, creating the Extrembiote. He used it to fight against Null's forces and take over a symbiote reanimated Celestial. Discovering that Carnage had resurfaced, Iron Man reached out to Agent Anti-Venom and later attempted to use the Extrembiote to help, but it was assimilated by Carnage, leaving Tony hospitalized. When the recipient of Stark's latest investment turned out to be the returned android Korvik, Iron Man and Hellcat found themselves locked in a pursuit to stop the villain from reaching Ta-2 to regain his godhood via the power cosmic, and in the process became romantically involved. After getting his neck broken by Korvik, Tony was forced to have his armor fastened to his body and to take morphine to stay in fighting form, developing an addiction to it. Iron Man continued the pursuit alongside Hellcat, War Machine and a team of ragtag heroes later dubbed the Space Friends. Following a battle royale between Tony and his allies, and Korvik and his acolytes, both rivals exposed themselves to the power cosmic and attained godhood. Iron Man overpowered Korvik, left him to the abstract entities, and returned to Earth. Although he intended to use his new nigh omnipotence for the betterment of the world, the Iron God became corrupted by the power cosmic, only coming back to his senses once he killed his allies in a fit of rage. Following a moment of self-reflection with Hellcat's help, Tony reverted the damage and relinquished the power cosmic. Afterward, he was confronted by an escaped Korvik just as the symptoms of his morphine withdrawal began manifesting. Stark goaded Korvik into foregoing his godhood as well, and the villain had a change of heart after severely beating Tony. He took Tony to a hospital and subsequently committed suicide. After recovering from the beating, Tony admitted himself to a rehabilitation clinic to overcome the withdrawal symptoms.